Oh, it's, it's, it's disappointing um, and the players are certainly feeling it, but we do take a bit out of it in regards to some effort and some application, you know, in the key areas we were looking at. But, you know, it's always better when you win, so, you know, it is a disappointing feeling. How is Tom? Tom? Yeah. yeah, no, Tom's pretty good. Look, he, he was super on the day again, Tom, and he's had a fantastic year. And, and it was obviously disappointing that that last kick didn't go through, but, um, you know, it was a difficult shot. Um, and that certainly doesn't take anything away from his performance. What did you do sort of, what was the vibe like in the sheds after this? What was the talk about? Oh, look, the talk was really disappointing, you know, but, but Rocket summed it up really well after the game. He said that, you know, we can't rely on effort all the time. We've got to make sure that's a consistent thing, um, but we execute correctly. You know, and we missed too many easy inside 50 kicks and, and missed a lot of easy shots on goal too. So they're the areas that we need to certainly learn from um, and improve. And even though it was, uh, there's nothing in it and deservingly, I feel like you guys should have came away with a win, but does that reinforce any confidence going into this weekend against the Giants? Oh, look, it does. I think it's, it's confidence because we're continuing to build on, on the way we want to play and build on a really consistent effort. And it's not about um, necessarily names that go out and play for us. It's about the 22 that run out. Um, but they play their role. Um, and they play with great effort consistently over four quarters. And it just shows if you do that, you give yourself a chance to win. Um, Jared Darlett, he's had a pretty tough the season, injury and form. Um, he's very good two goals. Does that give you confidence that he's a player that you want to keep at the club? Oh, absolutely. Jared's really part of our plans. He's a fantastic young man. And, and look, he's a second year player that's, that's growing and learning and improving every week. Um, and, you know, he kicked two goals, but what we love about Jared is his tackle pressure, his ability to chase, his ability to consistently play his role um, and bring other players into the game. So, yeah, he's a really exciting young man, Jared, and he's got a bright future ahead of him. And just personally for Jared, do you feel like he's in the right frame of mind at the moment that he is best when he is a really yet to come? Oh, absolutely. Look, he'll only get better as he gets stronger and more physically developed. Um, he's an elite runner, Jared. His ability to get up and down the ground consistently is tremendous. And look, he's had his challenges, as do a lot of young players. Um, but he's really comfortable here, and he's he's now really you know it's great to see a smile on his face, and he's enjoying his football. And I know his teammates really respect the way he's been going about it of, of late. Yeah, um, again, I don't, we don't get involved in those sort of things, but the list management group are, are working on that, and you know, I'm sure they'll, they'll sort all that out in due course. Great result for the twos on the weekend. It must be good to finally have some uh, selection headaches this week. Oh, it was awesome, wasn't it? It's great to, um, to see the reserves are playing great footy, and, and probably, you know, if they continue to do this, could play finals footy too. So it is, and to get players like um, you know, Adam Saad coming back, Darcy McPherson, you know, the list goes on, is tremendous. And hopefully that can give us some good selection issues and dilemmas you know, for the last month of, of the season. There's a good spread of golf because they're two, Clay Cameron, Braden Fiorini, they all hit the scoreboard. Absolutely. Braden's come back you know, in really good condition after his knee injury. Um, you know, 30, I think 30 touches and, and four goals. Clay Cameron, the boys were saying, was probably his best game that they've seen him play. So, um, again, that's fantastic for the club. Injury wise, is Kate okay? Did he get the head knock? Yeah, he'll be he'll fine. Be yeah. No, I think um, we got through it pretty unscathed at this stage. Because the good. other one was Shorey. Yeah, um, Matt Shaw looks fine yep. too. Yeah. Look, I mean, it's, it's obviously not long since the game was played, so there's some sore boys. But um, yeah, we'll recover well this week. It's a short week and, and a great challenge against GWS. Speaking of GWS, they're coming off an 88 point win over the Tigers, which is pretty incredible. What, mm. what will be the focus before um, taking them on? Oh, we know that we just need to play with great effort. Um, you know, they're a super side and we respect them a lot. But um, again, like I said, if we can have 22 players go out that are really clear in their role, and you know, and play with great effort and intensity. Um, you know, that that has to form the basis before before you talk about game plans. You need to get that.